Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. I am working on another huge canvas tonight, 36 by 48, so three feet by four feet. And uh, I have dreams of going even bigger than that, but at the moment, that's the largest size I can accommodate in my little studio. So um, I have a friend who has commissioned me for a piece for her living room, great room. Um, and she's asked for some very specific colors. So um, I'm doing a pearl pour today. Uh, I'm using uh, golden thalo turquoise, and hopefully you can see that these paints don't leave a mound at all. They're very, very fluid. Uh, in fact, they leave a little bit of an indent when they drizzle off of the stir stick. So um, uh, uh, thalo turquoise from Golden's. This is Amsterdam's turquoise green. This is a this little piggy pigment called asparagus. And again, I've mixed it uh, very, very thin. I dispersed the uh, pigments in Joe Sonia Flow Medium. Let's see if I can find it here close by. Yeah, Joe Sonia Flow Medium um, because pigments need a binder and I was mixing it just with Floetrol. So I dispersed it in the Flow Medium first um, and then added my flow trawl. It's a gorgeous green gold, kind of mossy green gold color. It's beautiful. Um, I'm really happy with that color. And then this is a mix of uh, Amsterdam sap green and titanium white and lamp black. So uh, her kitchen counters, which will, are visible in the room, are uh, kind of based on this um, uh, it's like a, a beautiful granite color that is a, a green uh, gray color. So I think I've matched this pretty closely. I'm excited to see how this works out in this pearl pour. Um, and then my pearl pour recipe is in the video description, but it is um, uh, a mix of US Flow Troll, GAC 800, uh, DecoArt Matte Metallics Ivory Pearl, uh, and a little bit of gloss varnish also. So all of these paints here are matte, and this has the gloss and the pearl in it, and that's one of the magic ways that you get this reaction. So uh, I am going to take you down to the canvas. I'll put on some music for you, because once I get going on this big canvas, I won't be able to talk. <laughs> I'll need to concentrate. Um, so yes, let's go get started.
been a half an hour. I don't think it's going to develop anymore, but I am over the moon. I think this is gorgeous. I think my friend Sandy is going to love this color scheme. And let me take you in for some close-ups. Some of these pearls are huge, but I'm really glad that I also kept some really good deep color intensity. Uh, the pearls are a feature not the main focal point, uh, which is how I like my pearls. Let me take you in and show you some of these here. Look at these. Aren't they gorgeous? And you can see some of the sparkle from that, um, from the pearl mix in here. That TLP asparagus. Oh, it's so pretty. I love all of these little bits here mixing in with that uh, thalo turquoise, some pearls even popping up through here. Let me come this direction. Look at that. Oh my gosh, so pretty. I love it. Oh, let's see if I can get out of the shadow. Here we go. Look at these pearls. Oh my God. I'm so glad actually that I ran out of Vallejo Pearl Medium so I started playing with other things. This section here is so pretty. Can't wait to see how that dries. But yeah, I ran out of the Vallejo Pearl Medium, so I started trying other kinds of pearls, and I'm so excited that the um, uh, DecoArt Matte Metallics Ivory Pearl works just like it. Um, it's a little more expensive, but I can't order Vallejo Pearl Medium here in Costa Rica. Um, but I can get 
the uh, the ivory pearl. So I'm super happy. Those pearls there are gorgeous. And they are like strings of pearls too. Look how they kind of travel out. Really pretty. These little tiny ones here are really nice. This whole corner is full of pearls. Look at that. I'm so happy. And look at this. Oh my gosh. These pearls right here. I wonder if I can get my thumb close to that. Look how dirty my thumb is. <laughs> but look how big those pearls are. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. I love it. Some more strings of pearls here. Very organic looking. I love that. That green gray here mixed with the, um, the TLP and the um, turquoise green. Really nice. And look at this cloudy section here. I love how the white did this here. Ooh, that is so pretty. I'm jellyfish pearls everywhere. Yay. <laughs> By the way, that is the highest note I can hit. <laughs> Let's see how close I can get to that. Look at that. Oh my God. Focus, focus. Look at that. Oh my gosh. These little pearls in here are gorgeous. I love the way it traveled out here. And there are a couple right here in the center that are beautiful too. If I can keep my camera in focus. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. The, uh, the pearls started popping up in this spot uh, very quickly. So they got a little bit wonky, but I'm not mad about it. I was expecting some wonky cells because this is a big canvas. <laughs> but here we come. Oh my God, look at this section here. Uh, this is my favorite part of the whole painting. These little, look at those pearls. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. Oh my God, that gray green and the asparagus in there too, I can tell. I love it. Oh my God. I can't stop saying, oh my God. <laughs> I'm so happy that I, maybe that's my favorite section right here. Oh wow, yum, yum, yum. I'm really happy with this. Thank you very much, um, Julie E for doing a green color collab with me this month. Can't wait to see what color we choose for next month. I know that Sandy is going to be hanging this instead of landscape. She's going to be hanging it vertical portrait. I don't know if I like it better this way or this way. Sorry about the glare. And now I'm standing in a box so that I can get back far enough. Oh my gosh. Isn't it beautiful? I'm so happy with this. I hope you like it too. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for the dry results coming up next. So here we have the dry results. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. I love this. Um, so there are a couple of things that I want to show you. When you do a large canvas, uh, it's really important to spray the back of your canvas so that um, it doesn't sag in the middle, which I did. But um, also with a pearl pour, it's important to take off a lot of the paint in order to get more pearls. But I really love the strong contrast of that phthalo turquoise, especially there in the center. And I didn't want the pearls to take over, so I risked it and left uh, more paint on there than I normally would, and it did drift a little bit into the center. But um, when I first saw it, I was a little disappointed, but I walked away, released my previous expectations, and came back and looked at it with fresh eyes, and I'm just as happy. It's beautiful. These colors are fantastic. The motion is beautiful. There's the perfect amount of pearls in it. I still really love this. So let me take you in, and I'll show you some details. So... Starting up here in the upper left-hand corner, look how gorgeous that is. Those blues and greens are just glorious. And let's see if we can see, oh yeah, that TLP asparagus, look how it shines gold 
uh, in the light, but it's green here and gold there. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my God, I love that because everything else is so very matte. It's nice to have that bit of sparkle. Uh, it adds to the, the watery feel of this, like we're looking into the ocean and some ice flows or something. I love this section down here with the, um, the cloudiness. Look at the gray in there. Isn't that beautiful? And the way this, uh, the transparency of this white here over top of the phthalo turquoise. Wow, just beautiful. These pearls here are gorgeous. I love these green pearls here. Like they're centered with green, really nice. All of this is beautiful too. My little wonky pearls. <laughs> I love it. And here's my favorite section again. I just love the, the way the blues and the whites and the greens play together in that area. And coming up here along the outer edge, more of that uh, TLP asparagus. And uh, up here to the right hand corner. Now, this is the area where you can see that it drifted. So those all look like jellyfish and now they kind of look like, um, I don't know, little ghosts or ice flows, icebergs or something like that. Look at this section here. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. I really love it. So uh, my area of Costa Rica that I live in is called Costa Biena um, and Biena is whale in Spanish. So this is the, uh, one of the places in the world with warm waters that the humpback whales come to to have their babies. And so um, uh, I am in mind, since this is so very ocean looking to me, I'm gonna call this one whale song because it made me sing. <laughs> so thank you again to Julie E for uh, collaborating with me on the color green this month. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And, you know, go mix up some paints and be fearless.